Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here once again, and today we're gonna be putting together a video for you guys on frenulum piercings. Um, what exactly are frenulum piercings, you might be asking? They're also most commonly referred to as a smiley piercing and a tongue web piercing. It's those two webbings inside your mouth, all right? Um, the webbing for the smiley is the one that connects your upper lip to your gums. And the other one is the tongue web piercing, which is the webbing that connects your tongue to your bottom of your mouth, okay? So smiley piercing, tongue web piercings, those are your two frenulum piercings that are the most common. For your smiley piercing, as far as jewelry goes, um, it's almost always gonna be a captive bead ring or a curved barbell. Both of those pieces of jewelry, in my opinion, heal totally great and are totally suitable and fine. Just know your captive bead ring is gonna be a lot more visible. So when you smile, you kind of get that, that ring hanging out. I think it looks really, really cute. And your curved barbell is gonna be a lot less visible. You know, you're really not gonna be able to see it unless you go and lift your mouth open and show it to people. For your tongue webbing, you know, a captive bead ring or a curved barbell are also totally fine. Um, I'm more of a fan of a curved barbell. I think it gives you a lot more room for the swelling that, that occurs. Um, you don't get very much swelling with a smiley piercing, but with the, the tongue webbing, you get a lot more swelling. So I, I like the curved barbell, um, but you can do a captive bead ring. The captive bead ring is totally cool as long as you put in a big enough ring to accommodate for that excessive swelling, okay? Now all that jewelry can be downsized later on once you're past the swelling phase. Uh, you're probably looking like around a month to two months to heal that. So in a month, I say it's pretty safe to go ahead and change out that jewelry if you wanted to. Now, as far as like metal materials go, I always say either go titanium or surgical stainless steel on that one. The reason for that is those are really good implant grade metals and you know, they're not really gonna leach and you're not gonna be sucking on anything toxic over you know the entire period of time that you have those piercings. Plastics, stuff of that nature, I'm not a fan of whatsoever. Um, it is a petroleum product and when it's inside your mouth, um, you're constantly sucking on that petroleum product and anything coming off that petroleum is leaching straight into all your internal organs all day, every day. So try and stick with just the implant grade metals, okay guys? Now, uh, I know I mentioned a second ago, the healing period is like a month to two months. Um, I always say caution on the side of air and just kind of know, okay, it's probably gonna be around two months to heal those. Um, for the entire healing period, you definitely wanna be doing some salt water rinses. Um, you don't have to soak these piercings, it's more of just a rinsing. Now, mouthwashes are totally fine. Uh, for me personally, I'm a big fan of biotin. Uh, you know, Listerine's cool too. Just use a mixture as an alcohol-free Listerine. Any mouthwash you use, you wanna make sure it's alcohol-free. Um, Biotene's a great product. You can get it at any pharmacy. It's really, really cheap and easy to, to acquire, okay guys? But salt water is what I recommend. And once again, just like all the other piercings, you know, for the salt water rinses, what you wanna do is go to the grocery store, get a gallon of distilled water. You know, it's in the drinking water section, super cheap and easy. From there, go to the salt section, pick up some non-iodized sea salt, nothing else, just the non-iodized, okay? That's really, really important. When you get home, four teaspoons of that sea salt, pour it into the gallon of distilled water, okay? Shake that up, that gives you the big jud, kind of keep around the house. And from there, after breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so easy, easiest piercing to take care of. Um, what you do is you just rinse out for 30 seconds. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even after you smoke or anything of that nature, rinse out for 30 seconds, okay guys? You don't have to soak it, you know, nothing like that. You're just doing rinses, all right? If you guys are out and about, it's not a bad idea to get a water bottle, fill it up with that salt water solution, throw it in your backpack or your bag or whatever, your purse. And uh, if you're out and about after you eat lunch or whatnot, rinse out for 30 seconds, spit it out. Super easy, super simple. Hopefully uh, all that information makes sense to you guys and you guys got something from that. Don't forget, if you haven't, subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Um, that really helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. And uh, thanks again for watching these videos, you guys. Um, I can't thank you enough. So see you guys next video and uh, thanks.